Hello everyone, my name is Lucas and welcome to a new episode of Databases with Unity. In today's lesson we're gonna learn about table relationships. So I'm going to go straight to the point. A table should not have lots of information within it. So for example, uh, we have our users table and in our users table we have an ID, a username, an email and a password. Which is fine, because we need this information to let the user log in and to identify each user uniquely with their ID or their email. Wait a minute, the dog's... the neighbor's dog is barking. <laughs> Sorry about that. So I was saying that um, that's enough information because with this we can recognize the user in a unique manner and also we can have them log in, etc. But there is a point in our development that we would like to add more information to the database. So for example, items. What items does this user have? And enemies killed, for example, uh, or etc. So we never want to have too much information in a single table. So what we, what we do is create multiple tables and have them have relationships. So we can get information from another table based on some ID from this table. So I made a small diagram to let you guys see what I mean with this. So we have th uh, four types of relationships and it's one to one, one to many, many to one, and many to many. So in this case, we have users. We can have another table called inventories and we can have one more table called items. So I don't need, now that I have these three tables, I don't need to write all the items that this user has inside its own table. So I don't need to have like item one, item two, item three, until item 100, or even more if there's more item slots, that would be too much. So what we do is give them a relationship. So in this case, um, a user have a one-to-one -one relationship to inventories, and inventories has a end-to-end -end or many-to-many -many relationships with items. And what this means is yes, I have for each user, there must be an inventory. So each user must have an inventory, right? So that's one-to-one -one relationship. In a one-to-one -one relationship, the amount of rows in this table must be equal to the amount of rows in this table. So if I have 100 users, my table inventories should have 100 different inventories. And then we have an end-to-end -end relationship. Do you remember that? In our item state, uh, in our items table, we had different items with different IDs. So these IDs can be referenced by our inventories table. So we have, let's say, uh, have three items or even more, and we have two users. So we have two inventories, right? But this inventory could have like item. Uh, let's do with a little bit of color. So let's say that we have these items and we have two inventories, right? So they could have any combination that they want. For example, uh, the first inventory could have the yellow and could have the, the green items, right? And maybe the other user is a very advanced player, so he's got, so he's got all the items. But you see there is repetition because both users have the yellow and the green item. And one, only one user has the purple item and the black item. And we could keep going with more and more users having different combinations of the items that we have. So that's an end-to-end -end relationship. Many different inventories can have many different combinations of items. So that's end-to-end. -end. Uh, we also have one-to-one. -one. And I made another example for you guys, uh, which is this one and it's a uh, one to n and a uh, many to one relationships. What this relationship is, is that one user or one entry in our table can have or can be related to different entries in another table, but that group of entries can only belong to one specific entry in another table. So we can have, for example, we could have one user, and to use a, but these users, they log in multiple times, right? It's our game, they maybe log in two to three times per day. So um, on the first 
log info the black user may be logged in twice in the morning then our green user logged in in the afternoon and then at night our black user logged in again and then our green user logged in twice during 2 and 3 a.m. and we want to keep all this information about all our users this green line here cannot be the login information for the green user and also for the black user that's not allowed in a one-to-end relationship one more thing in a one-to-many and a many-to-one relationship is that we could have some unassigned information so for example we have a yellow user but maybe this yellow user has never logged in before so there is no login info in our table this is also possible in a in a one-to-many and many-to-one relationship so that's pretty much it for today I know we didn't touch unity today but this is very useful to understand because what we're going to be doing in the next lesson is going to be applying this knowledge we will be creating an inventories table and we will assign different inventories to different users and we're going to see how this works and we're going to get the information uh, of different users items so stay tuned I will try to upload that video tonight and uh, thank you again for all the nice comments I really appreciate it and I will see you next time goodbye